In an effort to ramp up its immunization efforts, Arizona has opened its second mass vaccination site in the state capital, Phoenix. 21,000 appointments were made available online for this month, but all spots were taken within 39 minutes after the registration began. A lot of people went onto the website, and so there were some challenges with the site going down and some computer issues, but we have a wonderful team here, um, IT team that was able to jump right in and get things back up and running. And we also have accommodated people, if there have been any IT uh, problems, coming in, being able to register on site. In addition to healthcare workers, Arizona has begun inoculating people 65 and older, law enforcement, childcare providers and educators. Ralph Quintana is among the fortunate teachers who managed to secure an appointment but had to wait in line until after midnight for his shot. It shouldn't be that hard. You want me to get back in the classroom, you want me to get where I want to be with my kids, you want all of us teachers to do. Well, then maybe you should make sure that the shot is more easily readable to us. Um, is it going to be the same way when I have to go back for three weeks to get my um, booster, the second shot? Even Arizona's largest 24-hour vaccination center is operating at only half capacity, serving around 6,000 people a day. Arizona's first vaccination site was established at this parking lot right outside the State Farm Stadium in Phoenix. It's been receiving thousands of people on a daily basis since earlier in January. But now as the state is moving on with plans to open up further vaccination sites, they are also expressing concern whether they will get enough supplies from the federal government. We've asked for 300,000 additional vaccines from the Biden administration, and we want to work with them to do everything we can to get those in people's arms. But just so you know, we have the capability to do 12,000 vaccines a day at the Phoenix Municipal Site. We can only schedule 500 because of the lack of inventory that we have. According to Arizona's health department, the state has so far vaccinated more than 700,000 people, having used 59% of its available doses, lagging behind most other states. But the White House has repeatedly called on states not to keep reserves for second shots and instead use up all doses on as many people as possible. An important step to curb the spread of more contagious variants of COVID-19. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Phoenix, Arizona.